Hi. So today I wanted to do a little video of showing things I brought back with me from Finland when I was back home for, for the Christmas holidays. I suppose you could call this like a mini Finland haul or something. It's kind of a random selection of things, but just wanted to show what kind of things I usually bring back with me. Kind of maybe gives you an idea of what kind of things are good to get, at least in my opinion. Um, so yeah, okay. So I'm just gonna start from like food items. So I always get chocolate. Um, the Finnish chocolate, Karl Fatser or Fatser is, well, I'm biased, but I think it's one of the best chocolates in the world. Um, it's very kind of rich and smooth. It's sweet, but it's not too sweet either. So it's just like a nice, indulgent, good quality chocolate. This time I got the, the red one. So this is like a creamier milk chocolate. Uh, the original is just all the way blue. Yeah, so this is like a little bit milkier. You get them in all kind of varieties, but I quite like this one. It's kind of a classic one. A new chocolate is also by Fatser. It's called Crunchy Licorice. So it's like a new thing that they started to do, these kind of like crunchy uh, chocolate bars, but it has a licorice inside. And this is the perfect kind of like salty licorice, like salmi I keep tasting, kind of like a nougat type of thing. Yeah, and I lost in count how many I, I ate during the holidays of these. Um, they're great, they're pretty new, so yeah. Got one left, and I'm a big fan of salmiak, so I got some of these little boxes of salmiak. The lighting is doing something weird, but uh, this is kind of like a classic one to get. I also got some dents. These are basically like pastels, but they have some xylitol in them. These are kind of like good to have um, after a meal, if you don't have a chance to brush your teeth or something. So the xylitol can help a little bit. It's kind of like a mint at the same time. Now, this is probably uh, one of my favorite things I got this time. It's this tea. It's by Nordquist. It's one of these like Finnish brands. These are like herbal teas and they have like lots of like really good ingredients. I don't know if it really works, but um, I'm being optimistic and I like them. So this one it's called Weine and it's because it, it has this ingredient called um, Weine und Butki which I think in English it's garden angelica leaf and also it has the root. It's supposed to have like lots of health benefits, but it also has cloudberry, nettle and red clover. There's this other one, it's called Havu. So this one, it has nettle, pine needle, cranberry and um, young spruce tips called Kirka in Finnish. And there's loads of products with that on. It's like a, a big health thing at the moment. They say it's especially good for like winter time for your immune system. I don't know. I think it has lots of health benefits. I don't know if any of it is proven, but people are kind of going a little bit mad about it. At least in Finland, you will notice that there's so many products with that on. I think they were around five euros. So it is quite pricey, but I suppose it's a little bit more special than your usual herbal tea so i think it's kind of all right price for that lastly on the health foods i got this it's called turni which means sea buckthorn and so this is like a sea buckthorn berry powder so you can put it on top of your morning yogurt or muesli or something and it's also another kind of superfood ingredient that is supposed to have like lots of health benefits. So it doesn't like taste much, but I quite like putting it on top of like yogurt or something. As I'd say, it came in a kind of a little pouch, like your loose tea is sometimes packed like that, but I decanted it to this jam jar. I usually do that in the, in the kitchen. Well, I do have one more health thing. These are just really um, calcium tablets. It's silica, calcium, vitamin D and magnesium. They also say that calcium is important in the winter months, similar to like vitamin D. So it's good to make sure that you get enough of it. So yeah, but this is kind of marketed actually for, for your skin, hair and nails. You could probably get similar things over here, but I think this is kind of more sort of as, as kind of like a mix of calcium and similar things. Whereas I think, for example, in the UK, it's often just marketed as a kind of like a beauty product and 
they might be a little bit higher markup because the, the packaging might be a little bit nicer but I think it's probably similar ingredients. There was quite a few brands that did a similar sort of a mix but yeah I just like this one. My mom was eating some of these so I thought I should I should get some as well. I should also give a honorable mention to rye bread. I always bring rye bread as a standard. This one is from Fatser again. It's called Puikulat. It's one of my favorite. This is actually um, from the freezer. So I always just put these straight into the freezer and you can just eat them whenever you want them. You just, just let them defrost for a little while and then I put them in the toaster for a little while too. And they're almost equally as perfect as they are when they are freshly made. So yeah. I was kind of not thinking to include this in the haul because this is just like a standard thing that I always do. But that's always good to get as well. Then I got a couple of dishes. I got this like square shaped dish. I suppose it kind of looks a little bit, I don't know, Japanese or something. You would maybe have with shusi or something. But it also kind of looks a little bit like mid-century modern. But yeah, I have this thing when I see nice pieces like this. I just need them in my life. This one was from Stockman. It's like a big department store in Finland, similar to John Lewis, I would say. Yeah, I think it was maybe like eight euros or something. And so far, I'm loving it. I use little dishes like this for like, when you have like snacks, if you're like working from home or something, and you can put your chocolates in here or biscuits, or even maybe like a little cheese or some bunch of fruits like grapes or something. Um, I love it. Another thing I got is this mug. It's a little bit unusual shape. Um, it's kind of like a vintage mug, I suppose. I got it from a flea market and I think it was two euros. Again, it's one of those things, just, I was just looking at it for so long that I needed to get it. It kind of has this edge, like you would have like a kind of like a rolled edge, even though it's ceramic. Um, a little bit like you would have in a, in those like metal, those tin cups. I'm not sure how much you fit in this, but it's actually quite a big mug. It's very shallow, but it's also quite wide. But yeah, currently I'm loving it, just having a coffee from it. Only bad thing about the design is that um, things do get cold in it quite quickly, but it's probably good for herbal tea as well, so it would be perfect for that. And this is from this Swedish brand called Vardag. I do see this brand a lot in Finland as well. I'm not too familiar if they're still around, but this um, just looks a little bit old, uh, this stamp. Um, but yeah, I love it. I think it was a good buy. Okay, so then I just have the kind of clothing or fashion items left. And I'm just gonna show what I got from flea markets first. So I got these button earrings. They're just like clip-on earrings actually, because I don't have piercings anymore. But yeah, these were 50p or 50 cents, euros. Um, yeah, so I think they're pretty cool and um, yeah, the price was right, so happy with these. And then I also got this hat, it's like a fleece hat. It's one of my favorites actually as well. So it looks like this. It gives you a nice drop of color for your winter outfit. And um, I think it was 60p, so it was a good bargain from flea market again. The label looks like this. So it's this Red Cap company and it does say Helsinki, Finland. And it still has actually a fax number on it. So it's possibly from the 90s at least. I'm not too familiar with this company, but I think it might be a kind of like a wholesale um, company that makes them for other retailers. But yeah, at least it looks to be still great quality. I also got this scarf, kind of it's orangey fluffy scarf and this one it was actually kind of like a recycling center rather than a flea market. A fun fact, the recycling center was in a shopping center so I think that was quite of quite interesting uh, but yeah this one I got it for one euro so I like it as well. Uh, by the way like one euro is almost like a one pound uh, I usually just think of them as the same, but I think it's like one pound is 1.1 euros. But yeah, technically I would say it's the same. Then I also got this um, 
jacket. It's still actually like a, a men's jacket, but it was from another recycling center. Usually in, in recycling centers, they would still have like a small price, but maybe not as high as in, in flea markets. But they actually had a free section as well. And this was from there. And it's really nice quality. It's, uh, I don't know if you can see this. It's this men's club. <laughs> It says by Seppala, which uh, used to be like a clothing store in Finland. I think they're no longer around. So this jacket must be probably maybe from the 80s or something. Could be 90s. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very well tailored. So I thought, and as I was getting it for free, so um, I thought, why not? I don't know if you can see this. Yeah. It's pretty smart. I think I am planning to wear it with like a white t-shirt or something and a sort of like dress down way. Uh, maybe with a scarf or something. You can see it here. So yeah, you roll the sleeves. We'll have to see if I'll actually wear it out, but um, I'm just pretty happy that it was free, so why not? I did get another scarf as well. Oh, this is like a, a is it like a snood or what do you call these? This was from the winter sales actually, just from the shop called um, Dokmanni. So this is very soft as well, very, very warm. And I think it was maybe seven euros or something. Happy with that as well. Dokmanni is a kind of like, um, it's not really like a discount shop, but things are a little bit cheaper there. Similar thing in UK is probably something like Wilco or even Home Bargains. But in this top money place, the clothing is pretty all right quality. It's not the best, but it's pretty okay. So I would usually go there for like beauty products and sweet things like chocolates and salmiak and things like that as well. So it's actually kind of my favorite store. So I'm kind of a big fan. Yeah, <laughs> you get cute deals. And lastly, I got this top from the winter sales. So it's from Gina Tricot. I suppose it's like your uh, crop top. It's extra, extra large size. Hopefully I can kind of like wear it as a little bit less of a crop top. That's kind of probably for the summer. But I got it from Gina Tricot, which is kind of like a younger fashion, I would say. Somewhere between H&M and Monkeys, like a little bit different aesthetic, but somewhere out there. And that was everything. So I hope you enjoyed this little haul. Yeah, it's a little bit weird video, but I wanted to kind of show things because I was quite happy with the mix of things I got. So I hope you find this interesting and enjoyed the video. And I see you again next time. Bye. Bye.